Hello everyone, welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie another jig nymph. This is the UV Chroma Franchi. And for this I'm using this Hanak Competition Jig Nymph Hook. This is the H400BL. It's Jig Classic in a size 12. The bead is a tungsten bead in 3.3mm slotted. So it can slide down this bend here right at the eye and as you see this is really loose right now so in order to secure this and to add just a little more weight I'm going to add some lead free lead free wire 0.015 and what I like to do is to add it on or have it on a bobbin holder like this you lose much less material and it's easy to tie in or to to add so what I do is I wind this on with counter wraps and this only can explain a little later when we come to that but for this part here so about nine turns or so and then here as you have this bead here it has this opening here that is just a little narrower than the wire. So what I do is I take flat nose pliers and just squeeze the end here. And this will flatten the wire just a little. And this will allow you to push it up the bead. This will really secure it and keep it safely in place. And then what I do is with the same pliers I'm going to flatten the end here just gradually flattening it just a little more and more so then when we wind this on this little tag here it's going to to give a nice taper to the fly and this will help then when you wind on the thread as well and then to start this fly I'm going to use some uni 6 sort in white and this is only to build up just the shape here at the beginning and also to secure the wire just a little more then I'm going to use the nano silk from sample fly but it's and it's 80 naught so it's really really thin and you will just lose a lot of thread if you use it on this first part and then for the tail of this fly I'm going to use just some cocktail in medium powder and I've selected four or five fibers just bring them 90 degrees from the stem and then tear them off this will align the tips and then you want to measure the length to be about one hook length so we'll tie this in right here at the back and then up again and this will really bind these down and also secure the thread or secure the, the wire a little more so then cut these off and we'll continue just a couple of layers here up and down and then I'm going to go with the nano silk from Semperfly this one is the 80 naught in olive I, as you see I have not much left but this will do so We'll start this at here on the front of the fly and just tie it, tie it in as you would normally when you start to fly. And then you want to bind down this other thread here and then cut this one off. And now we'll continue tying only with the nano silk. So bring this down. And what I like to do is to take one turn underneath the Coq de Leon here. And this will really bring up the fibers so they, they are just in line with the hook shank. And also it will splay them just a little. Then this fly is going to have just a rib. And this one is Unimiler in pearl. This is size 16. Which is a small one. You could also go with... A little thicker one if you like but for these flies I opted for 
this smaller one. So tie this in right here at the back on your side. Just a couple of turns to hold this in place. And then the body is going to be some pheasant tail. This one is has been dyed in yellow, but you could go with any color. I posted an image on Instagram where I tied them, I think, in five different colors. Here is the, the classic Frenchie with this brown body and pinkish color. You could also go for some green ones or or darker olive but for this one I'm going to go with this this yellow here so take about five fibers and tear them off and then we're going to tie these in right here at the back so catch them and then just a few loose turns and then pull these fibers as close to the tip as you can and then with touching turns we're going to bind these down, all the materials here up the body and try to make a smooth body for the materials then to wind onto and then grabbing these we're going to wind these up as you reach the thread we're going to tie this down a couple of quite heavy turns cut these off and then we're going to bring this pearl tinsel or rib up the fly and here you could also counter wrap this if you like to but I found that the fly looks a little better when I want this on the same way as the pheasant tail so five six turns with this and then when you reach here at the top just bind it down then cut it off as this fly is called the UV uh, chroma Frenchy. The chroma comes from this bright color here and the UV is some UV resin so I'm just going to add a thin coat here. The only thing we want is just just a thin layer all over. The fly looks even better when you still have this nice segmentation and you have some of these pheasant tail fibers here sticking sticking out as you wood for one without the, the UV resin. So there once you spread it all around just set it with the UV torch. A few seconds is enough. And now we can move on to the last part of this fly which is the dubbing color and for this I'm going to use some seal fur in golden olive and I will mix this with some ice dub in UV shrimp paint. So this will give a nice bright color here with a little movement I would say with this seals fur but mostly a nice shimmer. And then what I like to do for these colors is to use the split thread technique. So what you do is you spin your bobbin counterclockwise. This will flatten the thread. Then take your dubbing needle and you can split the thread in two, insert your index finger and then what you do is you grab just a tiny bit of your dubbing mix here and we'll insert it between the two threads or the two parts here of the thread and then once you have enough close the thread again and spin your bobbin clockwise, this will core the thread and trap all these fibers in between and here at this stage if you feel that it's a little bit too you have a little bit too long fibers you can just wind it on a little like a uh, normal dubbing so then what you do is you come up here right behind the bead then what I like to do is to add just a drop of glue onto the thread. This will really secure this and is an easy way to add some glue when you have these beads here. You just whip finish as normal right behind the bead. Pull tight, cut off the thread. Here if these fibers are a little too long for you, you can just tear them off and 
it should break quite easily but I like to have some longer fibers here on these nails and there we have the UV Chroma Franchi thanks for liking and commenting don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already see you next time and happy time